Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Just Host account. As you can see, we've already opened the welcome email and we'll begin by clicking on the build link. We'll log in. Next we'll click on the use WordPress button. And here you can see the Mojo Marketplace Installer. We'll click on the Install button. The first thing we'll need to do is to select which domain we would like to install WordPress on. The domain here, ncmtest06.com, is correct. The next thing we need to do is choose a directory as we will be using WordPress as the content management system for our entire site we need to install it in the root directory therefore we would leave this form field blank however if we were using WordPress as the content management system for only part of the site we would install it in a directory we would add it here the word directory here cannot be deleted so installing it in this fashion will install it in the root even though it says directory here it will not install in a directory named directory the next thing we need to do is click the check domain button while Mojo Marketplace is certainly a capable installer it is a little on the slow side so you will need to be patient. We'll click on show advanced options. Here we'll add a name for our site. We'll call it NCM test site. Next the default username our email address is fine. Next is the admin password We'll copy the password so we can use that later to log into the WordPress dashboard. Automatically create a new database for this installation. We'll leave that checked. Next we'll need to check off agreeing to the terms and conditions. Finally, we click the Install Now button. We'll get rid of this pop-up ad. This is the WordPress installation progress bar. It's really the only thing on this page that we need to pay any attention to as the remainder of the page is basically just the advertising for WordPress themes. The message tells us that our installation is complete. We'll click on the View Credentials button. You can ignore this removal message. That's from a previous installation we did. And we'll click on the credentials for your WordPress install is finished. Once again, we'll get rid of the pop-up ad. And these are our WordPress credentials. Our domain name, of course. This is the admin URL. This is the URL we will use to log into the WordPress dashboard. And here we see our username and our password. We'll click on the admin URL. We'll log in.
and here you can see our brand new WordPress dashboard. From the left hand menu we can control all aspects of our WordPress site. To create a new post we can simply go up to the plus new and click on the post link. This is the field in which you would add a title for your post. Then you would add content for your post here and click the publish button. We won't be creating a new post today. We're simply going to take a look at our new WordPress site by clicking on the visit site link at the top of the dashboard. and here you can see that WordPress has successfully been installed. This is the default Hello World post. We can delete that using the dashboard. We can also change the look of our site by changing the theme using the dashboard. We can also change our site name and our site tagline by using the dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM Online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.